Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the logical AND operator in JavaScript. JavaScript has the logical AND operator and the OR operator which works differently with expressions that can be evaluated to booleans. I have a video on the OR operator and I'll be leaving a link to that in the video description. You can check that out if you haven't yet. But in this video, let's move forward to understanding how the AND operator works. The logical AND operator in JavaScript, which is written as ampersand ampersand, is used to assert that a set of expressions is true if all expressions in that set are true. If any expression in the set is false, the AND operator would return false, and if none of the expressions are false, then the final return boolean from the AND operator would be true. So you can think of it as true and true and true true but true and false or false and true or false and false would result in false any occurrence of false would result in false basically and enough of these stories let me show you some examples here so i have three expressions here which can be evaluated to boolean values either true or false the first one is exp1 which checks that 4 is less than 5 and indeed 4 is less than 5 so that will be true the second one we assign false to the exp2 variable so this evaluates to false and for the third one we check if the length of this string is greater than one and indeed it is greater than one so this would be true now let me use the and operator to check this expression so you can see the return value so i'm going to console log exp1 and exp2 then i'll also console.log exp1 and exp3 i'll come here and i run this with node you can see that the first one returns false and the second one returns true the first one returns false because we're comparing exp1 which is true and exp2 which is false and like i said because false is in this set of expressions it's going to return false for the second one i'm checking exp1 and exp3 both of them are true so it returns true here using this expressions check i can also have this in if statements like this if exp1 and exp2 console.log hello when i run this in node test you'd see that hello is not logged to the console that's because this is evaluated to false and because this false this if statement would not run but if i change this to exp3 and i come back here and i run node test you can see that hello is logged to the console the if statement indeed works with the and operator immediately the first false expression is encountered when checking the set of expressions the operator would return false and it does not check the remaining expressions this is because apparently there is no need to check the other expressions it already found a false so the set of expressions would be evaluated to false I'll show you another example here to buttress my explanation now I have four new expressions the first one checks that an empty array's length is less than one and this is true because zero is less than one the second expression is an arrow function which when called returns true but also logs I am expression 2 to the console so i'm just going to have it here that this would return true when called exp3 has the zero value assigned to it and because zero is a falsy value this is going to be evaluated as false exp4 is also an arrow function which logs i am expression 4 to the console and also returns true so i'm going to have it true like this when i use the and operator for these four expressions like this you'd see what happens i'm going to do exp1 and exp2 i'll call this because it's a function and exp3 and exp exp4 i'll call this because this is a function when i come here and i run node test the first expression is true so the and operator keeps going it checks the exp2 one the exp2 logs am expression 2 to the console which is this and because this also returns true the AND operator keeps going. It hasn't encountered any false yet. Then it gets to expression 3. And because this is evaluated as a false expression, the AND operator is going to stop here. And it doesn't go further to call exp4. You can see here, I am expression 4 is not locked to the console. Instead, it stopped at 3, which has a value of 0. So this is what I meant by saying that immediately the first false expression is encountered in the set of expressions. The AND operator stops checking and it returns false. False. That's it for the AND operator. Click the video currently on the screen for the OR operator and also like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe for more simplified content.